There is only one story that answers life's most essential questions and gives a lasting sense of purpose and meaning. It's the story that inspires all other stories. It's the true story that defines every one of us. This is that story. How did it all begin? Like all stories, this one begins in the beginning with the author, who is God. He spoke everything into being. With a word, galaxies appeared with stars and planets. Earth was designed for life to flourish. Everything God made was gloriously good and breathtakingly perfect. The highlight of God's creation was the first man and woman, Adam and Eve. God entrusted everything he created to his beloved children, giving just one rule. They were not to eat fruit from a specific tree. They lived in loving obedience, worshiping God as their heavenly father and enjoying perfect harmony with creation, each other, and God. Considering our world today, its obvious perfect peace didn't last. Turmoil, war, sickness, troubles. We each have our share. What went wrong? It started when a fallen angel named Satan grew jealous of God and determined to ruin the perfection of creation. Satan took the form of a serpent and enticed Adam and Eve to question God's goodness and rebel against his one rule. In disobedience, they ate the fruit and peace unraveled, ushering in sin and death, which still plagues us today. If we are honest, we are very much like Adam and Eve. We all rebel against our Heavenly Father, making our hearts heavy with fear, guilt, and shame. Our bodies are weary with sickness, disease, and death. Earth is afflicted with storms, calamities, and disasters. Even worse, sin has separated us from God, causing a permanent divide, a miserable separation called hell. The fallout of sin has been catastrophic. It's inescapable with no way to fix it, leaving us all to wonder, is there any hope? The love that prompted God to create us also prompted him to send a savior who would set everything right again. As centuries passed, God shared exact details of the coming savior's birth, life, and death. Everything in the Bible points to this rescuer. Almost 2,000 years ago, Jesus came to earth as God the Son to fulfill the promise. He was born miraculously, as his mother was a virgin. Just like us, Jesus grew up and experienced life on earth. But unlike us, Jesus never sinned and always obeyed the Father. When Jesus was in his 30s, he began teaching all around Israel, pointing people to God's kingdom and performing many miracles. After a few years, he was wrongly accused and sentenced to an agonizing death on a cross. Jesus lovingly gave up his perfect life as a sacrifice to pay for the sins of mankind. He died a perfect death, taking our place, the innocent for the guilty. But the grave couldn't hold Jesus. Three days later, God brought Jesus to life again. Jesus defeated sin by dying on the cross and defeated death by rising from the dead. Today, Jesus sits at God's right hand as king and judge over all creation. This is the story of rescue God has authored. He invites us through repentance and faith to make his story of rescue the one we trust in and live from. When we do, everything changes. And now, what will the future hold? For everyone who trusts in Jesus alone for rescue, God has promised to restore your heart and set you free from sin's hold. Because God is loving, kind, merciful, forgiving, tender-hearted, and true. God has also promised to make all things new. One day, there will be a new heaven and a new earth, forever free from sin. Everything that causes pain and sadness will be gone. God has also promised to be with us forever. The moment you trust in Jesus, your relationship with God is restored because Jesus has closed the divide sin caused. Getting to know this all-loving God starts today 
and continues forever. For God's story never ends. You can make God's story the foundation of your life even now by admitting your need for God's rescue, asking forgiveness for your sin, trusting in Jesus Christ alone to rescue you, following Jesus in faith from this moment on. This is God's story. Will you make it yours?